have things at the CPS as, uh, as an employed advocate that you just don't have other places. A support network of reviewing lawyers and management teams and all the training that you could ever wish for. And the ability to have sick pay and holidays and pensions just adds to that picture. And I knew fairly early on that court was where I wanted to be. Being a Crown Advocate, you're at the cold face. There are a few things that come quite the same to, to sitting with a victim and preparing them in a way to what they might experience when they go into court. And being in court and thinking on your feet in response to issues that arise to, to bring about a, a fair and just result. I felt it a strong sense of almost public duty where you, you're representing the victims of crime. When I joined the CPS, I joined as a senior Crown Prosecutor, which is effectively making charging decisions. And that prepared me to then become a Crown Advocate. It's quite varied, the type of things that you actually get your hands on. Some days you'll be in depth in one trial. Other days you might have five, six, seven, eight different cases of perhaps a, a smaller but no less significant um, important sentences, bail applications and the like and all the work that's associated with those. I'm incredibly proud when I see justice delivered. Fair, independent decisions.